Howdy everyone! Welcome to a Monster Hunter 6 discussion. Now, I always think, you know, what Monster Hunter could be, what I want it to be, what I don't want it to be, but let's talk about what I don't want it to be. So, let's start talking about this. Now, I don't want Monster Hunter 6 to have the wire bug. Now, I'm gonna have an interesting rant, so stay tuned for this long video. It could possibly be shot, I don't really know. This is not a scripted video. I also apologize for my shifting tones of voice. One minute it's cute, the next it's so high pitched. No, no, it's low, pe low pitched. I'm sick and tired of that, I I'm sorry. It's one of those things I cannot, I cannot stand, but this is just how my voice is. It always changes every single time. So anyways, let's talk about why the wire bug should not be in Monster Hunter 6. First things first is of course, it's just way too fast. I understand that, you know, people love the wire bug. Some people rank all the wire bug. Some people feel like the wire bug is an interesting thing, but it should stay in the portable series or just rise and sunbreak. It should not really come out of the series. You know, it is pretty good, but at the same time, I feel like it should stay for those games. It should not really leap out into the grounded content, which is the main series. Now, I really like how Rise and Sunbreak did a really bang up job trying to make the, the atmosphere work well with the wire bugs, because the entire area, any area you go to, there's a lot of highs, a lot of lows. Wire bugs can make you go up or go down or you know, it can make you do a lot of things, you know? You can even stay in the middle of the air. That's how cool wire bugs are. Now, uh, I, I will say it again, Rise did a good job with that because, you know, I feel like the team realized that, you know, this mechanic is not just for action or running away, it's also for traveling. However, I still feel like it's just way too fast paced. Rise was built up with the wire bug idea also. I, I know for a fact, you know, Rise was also being in development, you know, back in 2017, and it was going to be a very old school Monster Hunter game, I know. But when you play Rise and Sunbreak, the atmosphere fits well for the wire bug, and I feel that's great. But there's a couple of things that don't fit well, which is sometimes the monsters. Sometimes the monsters are way too slow for your work and until Sunbreak comes up because Sunbreak just makes the monsters like 10 times fast which they should have been with the same pace from the beginning but regardless um, I'm just saying that it's just so crazy that um, <laughs> that the, the wire bugs have become such a such a such an interesting debate topic when it comes to Monster Hunter altogether and Monster Hunter World was very grounded. Of course, uh, when it came to Iceborne, they added a bit more stuff that felt a bit too much, you know, maybe a bit too much, maybe a bit, uh, a b maybe over the top, you know. So, yeah. But regardless, regardless, World felt very grounded, you know. And I want Monster Hunter 6 to feel the same, but of course, expand upon that, you know take certain things that never felt good and add things or or, or just all together you know maybe maybe uh, you can actually uh, rework with the old mechanics and stuff like that you can do a lot of things and of course Rise is out and of course Sunbreak is out there's a lot to learn from those games Capcom can obviously take a lot from those from those games and implement it on Monster Hunter 6 but but um, not everything should should transfer to Monster Hunter 6. A couple of things that can transfer are Palamutes, Endemic Life, Monsters, uh, what else? Items, Armor, you know, uh, stuff like that, you know? Things like that. But I feel that the regular wire bugs should not transfer whatsoever because it just wouldn't make sense altogether. I want a proper grounded gameplay, and I feel like many of y'all want the same thing. Many of y'all, many of y'all yearn for the same thing. So, I think Capcom should obviously not bring it up. 
if they want to bring the great wire bug, which is basically the the wire bug that makes you transfer from one point to the next, I think that's the only uh, wire bug I'll actually accept. Because the great wire bug does not give you a boost in anything. It doesn't boost your combat. It doesn't make you... Uh, it doesn't make you super fast whatsoever. It just transports you from one place to another. Something you don't really need whatsoever. It can feel like more of a more of a speed running option than anything else. So I feel like that's the only th wire bug I'll actually accept. The rest of the wire bugs, yeah, I don't want. I don't want the regular wire bugs. I'm sorry. I think I think it fits perfectly for Rise and Sunbreak, but still, it should not come on the grounded content. I think it, it's it's just way too ridiculous at times with its speed, and I feel like we'll have the same problem, you know, when it came to Rise. People were talking about how fast people, how fast the players were compared to the monsters. We will have that same discussion over and over again. I don't want that. I just want to have grounded gameplay. Okay. So so the, so the wire bugs itself, yes, it works fine for Rise, for Sunbreak, and possibly could work fine for maybe portable games. But when it comes to the main series, I think they should keep it, keep it very grounded and not so zippy zappy. I hope I made my point clear. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Have a fantastic day. Bye.